Sunscreens are designed to provide additional protection beyond what your skin provides in areas that are not covered by clothing. Most sunscreens on the market today contain both substances that reflect sunlight and also substances that absorb sunlight. By doing so, you basically prevent the sunlight from entering into the skin, damaging the cells in the skin, and causing skin cancer and premature skin aging. It's recommended that all individuals wear sunscreens except for children six months of age or younger. Six months of age or younger really is too young to put the child in the sun. The child can't tell you it's too hot. The child can't tell you it's in pain from sunburn. There is a misnomer that people with darker colored skin do not need to wear sunscreen. This is not true. Everyone can get skin cancer. As a matter of fact, people with darker skin color, you cannot really see the redness in the skin, so you can be sunburned if you have deeply pigmented skin and not even know it. So it is important to provide sun protection for all skin types. People with more deeply pigmented skin do tend to have lower incidence of skin cancer than people with lighter skin. The pigment is protective, but not 100%. You still need the extra protection of a sunscreen in order to keep your skin healthy for life. It's very important that you apply sunscreen properly to get the optimal effect. The first thing you wanna do is to use plenty. It takes about a shot glass of sunscreen to cover your entire body. When you put the sunscreen on, you want to be sure you put it on and let it set for at least 15 minutes. It's important to pick a water-resistant sunscreen because you're outside sweating. There are no waterproof labeled sunscreens on the market today, so you want to look for water-resistant on the label. It's also important to remember that it's water-resistant. So if you're out sweating heavily or if you're in the pool or at the beach, you do need to reapply every two hours. The sunscreen basically no longer provides even protection and could have been washed or sweated or wiped away at that point. The reapplication is also important, not only for you, but for your children as well. Sunscreen ingredients are very, very safe. Sunscreens are actually over-the-counter drugs. It means they're drugs that can be sold to the public without a prescription. As such, they are regulated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, also known as the FDA. Most sunscreen ingredients have been on the market for many, many years and have been tested through time and shown to be safe. Most sunscreen formulations contain a complex combination of ingredients. That combination and the concentration of those ingredients is regulated by the U.S. government. But that unique combination provides optimal protection which is why most sunscreen formulations contain a number of ingredients to provide the complete protection you need not only against sunburn, but also against premature aging and the formation of skin cancer. Sunscreens are extremely safe. The FDA is doing their job in reviewing them, but they're not reviewing them because they think there's a big problem. They've actually approved all of the ingredients that are used in the marketplace today. So don't stop using sunscreens because the FDA is reviewing them. That's their job. And certainly if any issues arose, the FDA would make the public aware of that issue. But at present, there are no issues and those sunscreens remain on the market and are felt to be safe. <music>